Hi everyone and welcome to another video here on the Sean the Sheepman channel. My name's Sean and I'm a shepherd in Scotland. So for anybody who's new to the channel, I am employed on a farm that has 700 sheep and 100 cows and I also have a small flock of 9 Hebridean sheep for myself. And three of those sheep were in lamb and Today's video is going to follow the story of those three sheep lambing. We're going to have some ups and downs and we're even going to see a sheep being lambed towards the end of the video. So I hope you guys enjoy and if you do, please hit that like button, comment and subscribe if you haven't already. Let's get into the video guys. Okay guys, so we made it all the way to the 27th of April without any of my own sheep lambing. There's only like 30 sheep out of the 700 of the farms left. But this morning, I noticed one sheep wasn't with the rest. And we're going down to see her and her newborn lamb. So she must have lambed last night at some point. Uh, probably early hours of the morning. And then this morning... I've obviously noticed that she's away and I'm just coming over to see how the lamb is. There's the other sheep and here she is and you can see her little lamb just in the corner there. You're okay lass. Hey little guy. Come here. Still a little bit wet. Turn it up. So it's a little boy. Don't know if you can see that there. Look at those tiny little horn buds. Come on, up you go. Wonder if I can just get her and make sure there's you coming to see me wee lamy. Yeah guys, so no more lambs in her. She's just had the one lamb. She's got plenty of milk there as well. Uh, the lamb looks pretty healthy. So I'll just keep an eye on it today. I don't know if I'm going to take it to the pen or not. It seems pretty happy, pretty healthy looking. Pretty brave as well standing there. We'll come back and see it tonight. So I'm back to check on the lamb. I'm here with Echo. I think the lamb is strong enough that it could be out all night, but I don't want to leave it out all night. I think I'm just going to put them in the pen because I know there is a fox somewhere in these woods at the back and I think it would just be safer in a pen. And Stacy's with us as well. Oh, there we go. So let's go get the lamb, guys. So guys, there was quite a bit of rough weather last night, so I am quite glad I ended up bringing them up to the pen where there was a bit more shelter. Uh, what I'm going to do now is I'm going to ring this lamb and then we're going to get them back out of the pen. Hopefully you guys can see what I'm doing here. Let me just adjust this slightly. So first thing we're going to do is turn the lamb upside down. He's a little bit poopy, but that's okay. I'm going to get our last straighter going to pull them through like this feel that we've got both of them in there so we have and you also want it I don't know if you can see that but a below 
these two teats it has to go below them then we're just going to pinch with our fingers and there we go that's it done that's all it needs what I'm going to do is I'm going to this is broken damn oh there we go there we go I'm going to give these two a mark on the bum so I know that this is her lamb when the others do it same mark on her because these sheep are very hard to see the marks I'm really going to spray this on her it's fine okay so now we're going to release our lamb so you can see the lamb it's fine like I say it'll be minorly uncomfortable for the lamb doing it that way whereas vasectomizing is a much more invasive procedure guys we did actually have one other sheep lamb last night during the night uh, she had twin lambs but unfortunately they haven't made it it's this girl here standing facing away from us here smelling the other you uh, she had two lambs over here but unfortunately the lambs haven't made it uh, it's a set of twins two female lambs you lambs so it's pretty disappointing uh, I was here last night at 11 o'clock nothing happening come around at 7 this morning and both lambs were uh, gone so it is pretty disappointing uh, but these things happen unfortunately uh, we, I can see from looking at the lambs I'll not show you this again but uh, just from looking at the lambs you can see that they've possibly been dead inside for a few days now and they're just being expelled from her uh, like I say a bit disappointing but these things happen guys so I think I'm just going to leave those lambs there today in the hopes that the third and final sheep lambs and if she has twins I'll try and twin one on to her she's not being very motherly normally so guys that's me finished work i'm just going to lift these lambs i've been uh watching as i go back and forward today and she's just not interested in those lambs so even if that other sheep did lamb tonight um i don't think it would be worth twinning anything on her i don't think her mothering instincts are that great say it's slightly it's disappointing because this is such a small flock you'd hope to avoid them sort of issues and because it's two yellow lambs so they would have been the future of this flock but that's how farming is sometimes i'm just going to get the rest of these sheep in i'm going to have a look at the one who had the two dead lambs and just make sure she's healthy enough and then i'll probably try and have a look at the other one that is in lamb just to make sure she is still in lamb uh, and hopefully i managed to leave the one who has had her lamb behind That storm, lie down. Walk on, sheep. Yeah, that'll lose storm. That'll lose. Lie down. Leave it, lie down. That'll lose here. That'll lose here. Storm. Come on, girls. Walk on. Walk on. Walk on. Good girl. Walk on, walk on, walk on. Good girl. Yeah, so don't feel much in there. She has got a bit of milk, right enough. It's just unfortunate. Uh, yeah. Starting to get a bit of a bag there. Definitely still heavily in lamp. So there you go guys, so that is a bit of a shame because she had a fairly good uh, bag of milk there, definitely enough for those two lambs anyway, and she seems fairly healthy than now. So guys, I'm here out in the field and the last sheep has lambed literally just a few moments ago. Earlier on today I was working in the stack yard which is just that direction uh, and I could actually see her starting to bed down and look for a nice quiet spot to have a lamb and I was thinking to myself I bet she's probably going to lamb before I finish work today and just as I was finishing up I came along this road and sure enough 
she had the lamb right in front of me as I was driving by. So I've just went back, got the dog. What we're gonna do is we're gonna catch her, make sure there's no more lambs in there. There is a bit of a water bag there, so potentially there could be, not sure. We'll have a check and then we're gonna get them up to the pen because typically she's chosen uh, the day where we've got, it's been pretty wet today and the forecast isn't great for tonight either. So we're gonna get her up to the pen, make sure she's all healthy. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, no, that'll do. Leave them. That'll do. Come on, here. Away. Away. I can either try and get her into the corner of that bike or I can try and get her to come to the lawn. Come on, lass. Meh. Come on, Lamy. There we go. Right, boss. I know you want to fight, you want to fight, don't you? And we do have another lamb here, guys. You can see that's it coming there. Hold on to adjust this camera. And we're gonna work on her. I'm gonna get this lamb out. So you can see the feet there, guys. Lambs come feet first, followed by the nose. There's the nose. I'm gonna pull one leg at a time. There we go. And then we're gonna pull out this little lamby. Make sure it's faces any got any goo off it. There we go. There we go, lamb. Just clear that nose. Some people want to work on uh, lambs really quickly, swinging them about. If they're going to go themselves, give them the chance to go. You know, for the likes of this lamb, it got started itself. You just wait a second, lass. Two seconds. There we go. And that is a girl lamb. Let's see what this other lamb is here. I think that's a female lamb as well. It is. That is brilliant, lass. Good girl. Just have a feel, make sure there's no more lambs there. Don't think so. So guys, if you just press into a sheep's stomach here, you'll be able to feel lambs inside them. She's also got a decent bag of milk there, which is good. I'm just gonna get rid of, just pluck some of this wool around the bag, make it easier for the lambs to find it. And it Generally at lamb and you see it just comes away, like I'm barely pulling that wool, it just comes away. Uh, come on, up you go. Good girl. Up, up. So what I'm doing here, if the bottle's gonna work. So this is iodine I'm putting on the navel here. And this is going to stop, well, help to stop any infections that could potentially uh, be gained through the navel, such as joint ill. Give both the lambs a good covering of that just on their navels. Okay, let's get the. Right, in you go. There we go. And the divider, guys, is just so that the sheep don't hurt the, the lambs in transit. And as you can see guys, being very attentive to the lambs, being an excellent mum. So guys, it's about an hour later, I'm just going to come back and check on these lammies. Come on lammy, up. That lamb's had some milk. I wasn't just convinced with one of the lambs. The other one's definitely sucked, so I'm gonna give it a little feeding tube and see if that helps. Uh, hopefully that's a problem and it's nothing more serious. So 
So I'm milking out the sheep into a little tub and what I'm going to do is I'm going to fill a feeding tube with that and I'm going to tube that milk straight into this lamb's stomach. I noticed while I was doing this that the lamb's navel was still bleeding quite a bit so I actually ended up tying a piece of thread around the end of that to stop the bleeding. And here's that lamb just an hour and a half later. And the overnight weather forecast was looking a little bit ominous, so I decided to shelter the pain a little bit more. And instead of feed tubing this lamb again, I decided to teach it how to latch on and how to get a feed for itself. So guys, what probably happened with this lamb last night was it was born on a cold, wet day. It didn't get up and get that first feed of colostrum, which is so important to these lambs and just getting some warm good claustrum in its belly was enough to give it that energy boost to get up and get itself going okay guys so i am a lot happier with the condition of that lamb today it is up it's aware it has food in its belly i showed it where the teats were and it started suckling straight away so it knows how to feed um its umbilical cord has dried up like it should and it isn't uh, bleeding anymore which is good as well both the lambs seem fit and healthy i'm going to leave them in this pen this morning i've actually got somewhere to go uh, for a little while in the morning today so i'm going to probably come back here around 11 12 o'clock and see what they're like then and then i'll make a decision well i'm going to leave them in the pen for the rest of today and tonight or whether I'm going to let them out today but first I'm going to get the you here some food and some water somebody else wants a bit of that feeding So what I ended up deciding to do was give these guys an extra night in the pen, which they've had now. And the lambs are looking pretty healthy and strong. She's also pretty healthy. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to let them out today. Four. No, I'll follow mum. Oh, and with open arms I'll carry you. Sure. 
Anyway guys, that wraps up the lambing video. I hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, remember and hit that like button and leave us a comment as well. Anyway, that'll do.